Okay, I've got the end feed auger off of this uh, DMC54 green cleaner. A couple reasons for that. Number one, the flighting was razor sharp that I could see down here on this end. So I, I knew, I was pretty sure I wanted to replace the, the uh, auger anyway. But then when I would rotate, I finally got this off the motor and I spun it by hand and it was dragging. I mean, there's a, a little wood bearing down in the end. It only rotates 20 or 30 RPM, but it was dragging hard. The tube isn't bent. The auger's got to be buggered up somehow. And I think a big part of it is this plate here, this face plate that the bearing is in, was kicked out at the bottom. It's kind of cockeyed now, so if look, now you're looking straight at the side. I'm exaggerating my hand, but it should be 90 degrees. It should be perpendicular to the top. The motor sits up here. Grain comes out here. So I'm going to take it all apart. I'm going to pull the auger out this end. But I've got to get this. This plate's going to come with it, but then I'm going to re-bend that so it's perpendicular. I think I just have to get it hot up here and get it on the bench and bend it. Another reason I had to take this out is I wasn't sure what was going on. I couldn't get these two pulleys off. There's a set screw on them, and there's a, a lock collar there, but this set screw is loose, and I had wedges in there. I put croil on it, hit it with the impact, with the air hammer, try to bust them loose, the rust. No good. And then this is another clue here. I don't know if this is going to show, but watch this as it spins. This thing is super cockeyed. I don't know if you'd call it a clamp together bearing. So it's buggered up as far as I can tell. And I think that has something, it got bent or hit here. So I'm fixing that. I'll take all that out, get a new shaft, new, you know, probably a poly cup flighting for this screen cleaner. I gotta say, I'm disappointed to say the least of the uh, what I actually bought. It was represented to me as functional, which is a far cry from what it is. There's 10 belts on it, and they all need to be replaced. Um, so I've got them all, well, I got them hanging over there. I ordered V belts for less. It's actually a, a very good uh, resource if you need some V belts. And uh, there was another shaft in there that was seized up. This thing probably hadn't been run for at least five years. Now, I didn't even know if the motors, there's one. There's the auger motor over there that I took off the auger, the uh, infeed auger. But that's the auger that drives the drum, or the motor that drives the drums. It's three horsepower, 220. I think that's a three horsepower as well. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. There should be a plate on it. Well, it's big. Um, so the guy who sold it to me, is a lot of talk, but I trusted him based on some mutual experiences, and that, that was a mistake. Well, I had to put two new tires on it, and they blew up when my dad drove the thing home 100 miles from uh, where he bought it. So I got it apart. I ordered new, new belts. I'll order auger flighting. There'll be a new bearing over there on the end. Um, just wanted to document it a little bit to see, particularly on this auger before I take it apart. I'm just gonna make a short video. I don't know if anybody will see it, just for my own memory as to how it goes back together again. Okay, that's it.